Hello Balbay, this is Wayblower back with another Balbay video. So some of you have been asking me questions about the missile launcher, so here is my guide on the missile launcher, one of the trickiest weapons to use. The missile launcher is a two-point weapon that fires several high damage missiles in a parabolic trajectory. Blastian is the crew member responsible for the missile launcher talents. The missile launcher starts out with three projectiles, but once you level a Blastian to levels 12 and 26, the launcher will gain a 4th and 5th projectile respectively. There are also damage and cooldown talents. Blastian is also in charge of mine and triple torpedo talents, so I strongly advise you against using those weapons in tandem with the missile launcher, otherwise you'll never boost any of those weapons to their full potential. As you can see, I have a maxed out tier 5 epic missile launcher that deals 532 damage per projectile, and the cooldown is 8.9 seconds. That actually makes the missile launcher a 2 point weapon with the quickest reload, but don't get excited because you may have noticed that I have range perks equipped to my launcher, and that's because the missile launcher has no perks specifically designed for it. The only perks you can equip are range, ship hit points, item cooldown, and weapon damage. Personally, I prefer the range perks because I believe they increase the accuracy of the launcher. Not to mention the added range. Who doesn't like extra health points? No one, so ship hit points are a considerable option. You can use the cooldown perks to make the launcher reload even quicker, but it already reloads relatively quick, so you might want to give this one a miss. As for the weapon damage perk, it's best used if you're using the missile launcher on a shooter, because that way all your other weapons will get a boost as well. As I mentioned earlier, the missile launcher is a tricky weapon to use, and that's because this weapon requires enemy movement anticipation and some manual aiming. It practically takes a second for the missiles to reach their target, but a second is plenty of time to get away, especially if you're a speeder. And even though the travel time of the missiles is very short, you also have to put up with the spread of the missiles. You might have the launcher pointed at an enemy, but more often than not, you'll see the missiles going to the sides, leaving your foe unharmed, and there are a couple of reasons for that. 1. The missiles are not accurate at long range. And 2. Aiming the launcher while moving doesn't allow it to focus on the target, making your missiles spread all over the place. So my advice is that you launch the missiles when your foes are at medium range, and that you stay still while doing it. Simply put, the closer you are to your enemy, the more likely all your missiles will hit the target. But don't get too close, because the launcher is ineffective at point blank range, since it has a minimum shooting range. The missiles travel in a parabolic trajectory, so that means walls won't hinder your effectiveness with the launcher. Another good thing about the launcher is that it can easily break the Tesla shield and stun the opponent. An interesting strategy with the launcher would be to use the Frost Blaster. You can frost your enemies and follow up with missiles, since the foe will be unable to run away. But don't try this combo if you're a Mark V or Mark VI Enforcer, since you won't be utilizing your weapon slots cause the missile launcher is a 2 point weapon. As I said a few moments ago, the missile launcher is useless at close range, so make sure you also have a good close range backup such as a cannon or the carronade. So let's wrap up the pros and cons. The launcher is a high damage, low cooldown weapon, parabolic trajectory means walls are not an issue, it easily deals with the Tesla shield, and it can damage several foes at once if they're clustering. But to balance all that out, the launcher is not good at long ranges, it's useless at point blank range, it has unpredictable spread, it has no unique perks, and the last disadvantage that I didn't talk about is defense points. Being a projectile weapon means the missile launcher, just like the carronade, suffers the most against defenders with massive defense points, because damage is reduced for each projectile. So that was my guide for the missile launcher. Hopefully you found it helpful and hopefully it will help you perfect your missile launcher gameplay. This is Wayblower signing off, thanks for watching.